Hello, Georgina here. The 1st of August is the time of the ancient Celtic festival of La Mas, a time to rejoice in the agricultural harvest. This also makes it a good theme for creating a tarot spread. Today, we'll be looking at an adaptation of the herb garden spread by Sasha Graham. It's on page 221 of her book, 365 Tarot Spreads. The meaning of each position is based on a traditional correspondence for various herbs. This is an example of how you can create your own spreads based on knowledge you have about a specific topic, DIY spreads. And if you enjoy learning new spreads, know that I post new videos on tarot spreads and Lenormand reading techniques each week. If you want to improve your cardomantic skills, consider subscribing. And when you do, be sure to click the bell icon and set notifications to all. Today, I'll be using a beautifully colored version of a Marseille tarot deck. Details about this particular edition can be found down in the video description. And now, the herb garden spread. This spread has eight positions set out like so. One, two, three, four, five, kind of in a zigzag, and then six, seven, eight. Position one, basil to banish negativity. Now, personally, I use sage to banish negativity, but I'm going with Graham's correspondences today because, well, it's her spread. <laughs> this position answers the question, how do I exercise negativity from my life? In my sample reading, the card that turned up here is the Ten of Cups, the card of the happy home. And of course, a happy home helps to dispel negativity. Position two is chamomile to restore calm. This position answers the question, what calms me? And the card that appears here is the 10 of pentacles or coin since we're using a Marseille deck, but it is upside down. And it may be hard to see this, but you can tell that it's upside down because there's a little itty bitty dot in the corner. And that's what I do with all of my decks so I can quickly tell if something's reversed or not. This card also is a family card, but it focuses on the legacy of a family, the financial stability and material resources it leaves for the next generation. As it is reversed here, it may indicate that paying attention to long-term material matters will soothe with it whatever troubling issues the querent is currently experiencing. Position three is Yarrow to increase psychic ability. This position answers the question, how can I improve my psychic ability? Now, I don't associate Yarrow with psychic abilities, but this is a good opportunity for a poll. What herb do you associate with psychic abilities? Share your experiences in the comments section below. For the moment though, we'll stick with Graham's correspondences. And the card that appears in this position is the Four of Wands reversed. In this deck, the straight sticks are wands and the curved ones are swords. It's easy to become confused if you've never used a Marseille tile, uh, style deck before. So this is the Four of Wands and here is what the Four of Wands looks like in a Rider Waite Smith deck. And in this case, it is reversed. So uh, I associate this card with wedding receptions and other community celebrations, as opposed to the Three of Cups, which I consider more of a card for celebration with one's close friends. The Four of Wands placement here reversed suggests that setting oneself apart from society in general will increase one's psychic abilities. I guess to avoid the mundane distractions of the world. So, Position four is right here, and that is parsley for protection. This position answers the question, what protects me? And here we have a court card, the Queen of Cups, the card of motherhood. The Querent's mother protects her. Oh, easy peasy. Position five is sage for wisdom and memory. This position answers the question, what do I know? And I'm going to assume that the tone here is serious, as in, 
what wisdom or knowledge I possess and not, eh, what do I know? <laughs> and here we have in this position, six of pentacles or coins. Six corresponds to harmony and pentacles is the suit of material things. So this card represents the theological virtue of charity. Here's what it looks like in a Rider Waite Smith deck. That is charity, loving our neighbor as ourselves. Our querent knows that the true value of what we possess is not in ownership, but in how well we share our wealth with others. And that's some deep wisdom there. And speaking of wealth, position six is mint for attracting wealth. This position asks, what attracts money? And the card here is the Three of Swords. Now, most tarot readers see this card as heartache because of the Rider Waite Smith illustration of three swords piercing a heart. I was taught differently by my tutor. Bill saw this card as the triumph of the mind over the passions of the heart, logic over emotions. I will leave it to the viewer to contemplate how viewing financial matters dispassionately attracts wealth. Position seven for increasing passion, dill. Graham's question for this position is, what provokes lust? Eh, I've replaced that with what increases passion. <laughs> and by passion, I don't mean physical desire. I mean, what gives your life meaning? What makes you jump out of bed in the morning, excited to take on the new day? And the card here in my sample reading is the Empress reversed. The Empress is another card of motherhood. But in the case of this querent, this represents her struggle for creative expression, her raison d'etre. And that leaves our final position, position eight, time, for courageous action. This position asks, what action should I take? And the last card of the spread is the High Priestess. The bravest action for our querent is to deeply explore the realm of their intuition. Hmm, so what do you think of this spread? Share your thoughts in the comments. This is how we grow as a community of Cardomancers. And if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. It helps out the channel and it lets me know that you are interested in exploring new tarot spreads and seeing tarot readings in action. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And when you do, be sure to click the bell icon and adjust the frequency of notifications to all. Until next time, remember, the magic is not in the cards. The magic is in you. So be good, be kind, and as always, be awesome. Bye.